uh, the DCW chairperson said it was unfortunate to see the wrestlers being dragged by the police. Um, you know, so but but like you said rightly, NCW a statement ideally should have come out. If this was a regular case, it would have been treated differently. Uh, we are looking at these players who really carry the brand India on their shoulders when they go to international tournaments and events. Uh, they're really taking carrying India's pride on themselves. Uh, so it's it's highly unfortunate that they've been dragged down to this and reduced uh, to this scene that we see along the banks of River Ganges. Uh, in Haridwar, right now, Anisha is there on ground at the epicenter. Anisha, what we saw on Sunday, it appears that the Olympians here, the uh, bunch of the wrestlers who are protesting are, are hugely upset with the fact that they, they were not only detained and several sections of, of FIR were slapped against them. We also hear that Bridge Bhushan, the man who is accused, who is a BJP MP, was in attendance. Uh, uh, of the new parliament inauguration, the building inauguration, on that very day he was in the parliament uh, being part of all the festivities while these protesters outside were being detained. Yes, there was no permission for them to protest, but uh, it, it must have really broken all that hope that they have. They must have felt super dejected, which is why they've decided now to take this a notch up, uh, give away their medals, even though people would say it's immersing, this is nothing but doing away with it, only to send out a statement. Well, yes, definitely. This is a very, very clear statement that is being made by the wrestlers that we've been asking for justice for such a long time. And if you see the tweets that they've put out, the public statement that they've made, uh, uh, Sakshi Malik, Vinesh Fogart and Bajrang Punya, all of them, they made this clear statement that what happened on the 28th is what has shaken their confidence. In the, the, it has shaken them. It has completely de made them feel dejected, rejected by the country who... Prime Minister had called them Desh Ki Beti just a few short months ago when they brought back these medals. And they are very clearly showing that uh, sadness. They are holding their World Championship medals, they are holding their Olympic medals, and they are making this statement that on a day when they were being detained, nobody from the government came out in their support. The man who they've been accusing for the last several months. In right. the parliament, in the new parliament yeah. building, the, uh, the Brisbane Sharan's visuals had come out, showing him, uh, with him showing a victory sign. And you can see around here uh, several uh, political persons, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, several sadhus around here are trying to now come in and speak to the uh, wrestlers. They are now not being uh, allowed to cross this particular cordon that the wrestlers themselves have made. Who uh, are you here? मैम ये सत्पाल ब्रह्मचारी है पूर्व चेयरमैन नगर पालिका रिजवाल के तो आप लोग क्या सपोर्ट करने आए हैं सपोर्ट करने आए हैं हमारे अध्यक्ष का आदेश है कर्ण मेहरा जी का कि खिलाड़ियों के सम्मान में उनसे रिक्वेस्ट करो हमने रिक्वेस्ट की है कि मेडल गंगा में ना बहे गंगा में ना तो सरकार से क्या सरकार से क्यों नहीं रिक्वेस्ट करते सरकार से भी कर रहे कल धरना प्रदर्शन था हमारा यहाँ हरिद्वार में so you can see here there are people from uh, Haridwar, there are, people who, there are hundreds and thousands of devotees who have been here, who are also sitting here. And uh, Kirpalji, if you can hear me, if you can just show them, there are uh, about a dozen men now currently who have climbed up on top of the, uh, uh, the, the structure for the speakers who are now raising slogans. Uh, saying Bharat Mata Ki Jai and, and uh, they are uh, shouting slogans against Brijbush and Sharan. But if you see the, the, what these uh, the wrestlers are doing, they're sitting here absolutely quiet uh, with tears falling down their faces, falling down their cheeks, holding on to their medals, even as the wrestlers are trying to expand this cordon to make sure that nobody disturbs them. Polit they have made it a point that political persons must be kept out, but we've seen in the last few weeks political leaders, sports persons also saying, uh, coming out in their support just this morning. We saw, we saw uh, the tweets uh, being made in the, their support by certain sports persons that we were just discussing. But here you can see very clearly these sports persons have been sitting down. They've been, they've been sitting down here and the police is also trying to ensure that there is space given to them. And uh, if you can, uh, Kirpalji, if you can just show why behind where I am standing right here. 
where the devotees are sitting to take a glimpse of the holy river, to take a dip in the holy river. But these wrestlers are sitting right here, we are waiting for the, to consider their next step. They are sitting right here, showing just how upset they are with what has happened. The, uh, the protests that have been going on in Jantar Mantar since the 23rd of April resulted in the visuals we saw on Sunday with the police taking them away. They are saying that these are the uh, sportspersons who were hailed as the pride of the country. So where is their pride now? Where is the pride of the country in them now? Where is the support and uh, the uh, that the government had given them back then? And we've been talking about what is happening in the case itself. Just yesterday, the Dowser Avenue Court was given the status report in the investigation that has been going on in their particular case. The police has nowhere so far said that they have questioned or called Bridgushan Siren for questioning. That is what uh, the sources have been telling us, even though the status reports have been in sealed cover. The, even before the court, even before the police, it seems that what these wrestlers have been asking for uh, has not been done because uh, uh, Bridgushan Siren has been making statements against them. In fact, the tweet that these wrestlers had given right before leaving from Delhi to come here to Harki Pari, to Haridwar, was that the person we have been accusing for several months is not facing any consequences whatsoever. The person we've been accusing for several months is in fact making statements against us. He has been raising allegations against us. And instead of taking any action against the person who seven wrestlers, who seven sports persons have accused, what is being done is action being taken against the sports person. So clearly here you can see the despair that they are clearly showing